old words of wisdom, old worlds, new hope and joy. A child's world is fresh and new and beautiful, full of wonder and excitement. If I had influence with a good fairy who is supposed to preside over the christening of all children, I should ask that her gift to each child in the world be a sense of wonder so indestructible that it would last throughout life as an unfailing antidote against the boredom and disenchantment of later year, the alienation from the sources of our strength. Rachel Carson my journey with mindfulness and spirituality began many years ago. With the loss of my mother, I turned to all I held dear, and to honour a promise to her, I wrote a couple of novels set in an imaginary world. In my quest to rediscover my soul, some of which I felt had left with her, I returned to my love of writing, and my love at the wondrousness of nature and our beautiful planet. And in the world I created on paper, everything was balanced ecologically. An old, primitive world where love and harmony won out. This drive to create, to absorb, to reimagine all that could be, is with us all if we learn to listen to it. Dr Clarissa Pinkola Stess joins the many in believing we are given creativity as a form of expression of our soul's delight, and more. Joy can be found even in the darkest corners. And if this strange time in the world is bringing you down, doing something creative will lighten your burden. It will allow a little space and air into those dark corners our minds love to scurry back to when left to ruminate. So I invite you to spend a moment being creative today. Give yourself the joy of letting yourself just play a note on your instrument, a drawing or a colouring, a few lines on a page, your favourite puzzle, laughing with your pet, your child, your grandchild, cultivating your garden or your potted plant if you're housebound, singing your favourite song. Even housework can be lifted with some music and a little jig. There are so many ways to let go, to play, to dance, get creative, smile, and let yourself fly free for a moment. Even when you feel like shouting or crying, take a breath, notice, listen, just be, and then move into something creative if you can, if not that moment, then at some point in each day. The Buddhists say, heart of a child, mind of an adult. I believe that this is what's needed in our world. Let's increase our ability to connect with our own conscious joy, our creativity, and then, a small step at a time, continue to transform how we see and behave with our beautiful world. Focus on just one breath, one leaf, one cloud.